In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. We call to my sins. Jesus, you are my God, the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, O oh God, you prepare for those who love you good things that no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love. So that loving you in all things, but above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once, in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Eli Melech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. When they had lived there about 10 years, both Malan and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plain of Moab, because word had reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, see now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. <clears throat> For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. <clears throat> Thus it was Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise, the, Praise Lord, the Lord, my soul. My soul. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him, asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That's the greatest, the first commandment. The second is like it shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. 
gospel of the Lord. Now, it's not every day you get to see something like this, so mark the day down. This book is called I'm Staying With My Boys. The author, I believe a Congressional Medal of Honor winner on Iwo Jima, um, his great nephew sang last year at La Festa Italiana. They introduced a whole band, and the guy's name is Basilion. Now, how many Basilions do you meet? Not many. It's not Jones or Smith. So being the quiet and shy person that I am, at the break I went up and I said, are you related to the author of the book? He said, yeah. I think he said it was his, this was his great uncle. Under extreme heavy fire. I'm pretty sure it was on Iwo Jima that it happened. I've read so many books on war that they, they all blend together. He crawled on his hands and knees to get water and ammo for the troops from like, let's say here to North Grand Junior High School, maybe a mile and then crawled back also under enemy fire to get water and bullets for the, for the other American soldiers. And the title I'm staying with my boys is they wanted him to go, and I think he did for a while, sell war bonds because he had been such a hero. But then he finally said, no, I, I have to stay with the boys. I, you know, I, I can't go home and sell war bonds when, when my buddies are under heavy bonsai attacks in the middle of the night, and many were dying. He, he died, let me be very clear about that, before the end of the battle. I know he died at Iwo Jima, but the line, I'm staying with my boys, is a powerful line. Because that's what happens in that powerful first reading that Nancy read for us. The, the, the woman has two daughters-in-law, but their husband's dying. And she says, and will you go home with your people? And the one says, no, I'm, I'm staying with you but you're only my daughter-in-law. You can go home to your people. She says, no, you're now my people. I married your son, and yes, he died. That happens, obviously, but you're my mother-in-law, and I will stay here and help take care of you through famine, etc. I'm staying with you. See, that, that's what we don't get today. People say, a lot of people don't get married. Maybe the problem is too many people get married. Because you have to understand what marriage implies. Marriage is, is, if it's a real marriage, it's permanent. It's, if it's a real marriage, it's until death do you part. I think some people, especially some young people, don't want to believe that. Now, if it's a real marriage, blessed by God, it can't end except by death. That, that's the kind of loyalty, even to, even to your brother-in-law, your mother-in-law, who you may not like very much. I guess that's the nature of the beast. But that's what loyalty and family means. There's only two really powerful forces on earth. The first is the sun. It better not go out. And the second is family. You have a good family. You have everything you need. The other, you know, the other things will take care of themselves. If you don't have a strong family, life is hard. Loyalty. Loyalty, the word always, powerful words. He's staying with his boys. Jesus stayed us, with us till the cross. Loyalty is love in action. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that she may inspire us to live in persistent faith and confident assurance in God's abiding mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of government, that their decisions may advance the common good, fill the hungry, and lift up the lowly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Jean Lewignan, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Well, God, we, the Eucharist we celebrate is the memorial of your unending life-giving death and resurrection. You are always with us. Let us always seek you with all our hearts. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive our offering, Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you've given, we may receive the gift of your very self. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. In goodness you created us, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him in Christ. Through him the angels praise you, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven praise you. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ever evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through this Eucharist, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be co-heirs with him in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.